You buy it at 120, you put 90 into it, you're all in for 210. My opinion, you got yourself a fully turnkey four unit apartment building bringing in $3,375 a month, Section 8 ready, lead certified ready, that should be worth about 250. Do the math, y'all! Tyler, 250 minus 210. $40,000, y'all! That's why when I tell you I have made millions of dollars buying beat-to-hell properties. That's how it looks. This is what guys like me do. This is why guys like me make all the money. Because we go on and we tackle projects like this that seem tough, seem rough, seem ugly, seem like, you know, just something a lot of people don't want to deal with. Yeah, yeah we, uh, we went we, in uh, half of it. There were some locked doors. Yeah, like yeah. this one. and You know if someone's living in this one? What's that? Is someone living in this one? The only place that there's somebody living in is under those steps. That makes sense. That one has yeah, four locks on it. Holding wise, anybody home? Holding wise, anybody here? Surprise, surprise, it's holding wise. Sent by the owner to film this, film this place. I thought you were responding to somebody. I thought he was too, but uh, it was the smoke alarm, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard that and I'm like, what's gotta be? We are all about transparency, as you can tell. I don't think anybody has ever uh, sold a building like this in this transparent of a way possible, right? Most most realtors out there, again, they would try to tell you that, oh, it's got classic woodwork. It's a century home, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm like, bro, it's fucking dog shit. Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sales Show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. Sometimes, when people are selling things, like selling real estate, for example, that'd be a good example because this is a real estate show. That's what we do here. We sell real estate. Sometimes, when people are selling real estate, they're like, oh, Look at this beautiful piece of property. Look at this lovely home. Look at the great architecture. Lots of care was put into this house. This house is well taken care of. There's just so much thought and love that went into building this splendid piece of property, right? People say things like that. This ain't that video, y'all, and this ain't that fucking property, okay? This thing is a beat to shit, okay? This thing is, is, is been road hard and put away wet, all right? 3529 West 54th, okay? Cleveland, 44102, all right? I just, I cannot stress for you enough that this is a de-stressed asset. This thing is as distressed as it gets, okay? Does that mean it's not a banger of a deal? No, this is going to be a dope fucking deal, guys. This is going to be a dope deal. But, like, let's call a spade a spade. What we have here is a four-unit apartment building that I have priced at $119,900. You guys should be fighting each other to have the opportunity to spend your money on this piece of dog shit. Because this piece of dog shit is going to make you a ton of money. In the Cleveland market right now, folks, what are people paying? For quads, they're paying between 220 to like 250. Okay, why? Because the quad, y'all, is the very best investment that I believe new investors can make. Okay, I've talked about this on my show, various shows, many, many times. So I'm blue in the face. Okay, the quad, in my opinion, is where it's at because of the financing, guys. When you get a four-unit apartment building, this is the largest apartment building you can get and still qualify for 30-year residential financing. So you get 25% down, okay? The bank puts in the other 75%, and you have 30 years to pay it off, okay? Now, I understand in 2023 mortgage rates, they're a little bit high right now. But guess what? The fact that this thing is just beat to live in hell is probably going to help you quite a bit, okay? Because it's 2023, y'all. What has happened in the last, like, 18 months to two years? Interest rates went from all-time lows, and then they shot 
way up to like 7% or something is what non-owner occupied folks are paying right now, okay? This particular property, it's all fucked up, right? So you're going to have to buy it cash and you're going to have to burr the sucker out. Buy, renovate, rent, refinance, repeat, okay? So you're going to be able to buy it cash. And then you're going to have to put it together because it's all fucked up. We're going to get into the details on how to unfuck the fucked up property that I am gladly presenting to you. But it's going to take a little bit of time, okay? And that is good. Why? What is coming up, y'all? It's a motherfucking election year, okay? What do you think is going to happen to these interest rates during the election time? They're probably going to go down, okay? I regularly keep up to date uh, with the housing predictions, a lot of stuff that the economists say, like NAR has economists, they put out reports, Fannie and Freddie put out uh, monthly housing prediction reports. Lots of people, folks. In the know, I guess we could say they're in the know. I mean, nobody really knows, but lots of people are predicting the rates are going to go down. I think especially because it's an election year, they're going to go down. So I'm willing to to put myself out there in a ledge and say I believe, I believe uh, that rates are going to be lower uh, in the near future than they are today, which is good. Because you're going to want to buy it cash. Then you're going to want to unfuck it. Then you're going to want to get tenants in there. Then, hopefully, when you do your refinance, the rates are lower than they are currently, right? So the financing, right, it's always going to be the best on a quad. Even when the rates are high right now, it's still going to be the best because your residential financing is way better than commercial financing, right? Commercial financing, the rates on those are still really, really high because all rates are high right now, y'all. But guess what? You don't get 30 years to pay it off. You probably get like a 30-year AM, but then you got to do uh, like a five-year balloon. And guess what, folks? When you do a 30-year AM and then you have to pay the entire loan off in the first five years, you basically paid no principal, okay? Because you got all of the loan origination costs, all the junk fees tacked onto the loan. When you do a 30-year AM, almost all of the payments in the first seven years are going to be mostly interest, right? Like if you got like a $1,000 payment, like 990 of it is going to be interest and like $10 of it's going to be principal, right? They pound all the costs, all the interest up into the beginning of a note, okay, into a mortgage, right? So when you're doing these commercial loans, you're really not getting any principal pay down, okay? Uh, and they do this for various reasons, right? They do it on the commercial side because you you just have to keep paying, right? Banks are in it to make money. And then on the residential side, uh, they give you the whole 30 years to pay the sucker off. But guess what? Uh, on average, owner-occupants who get 30-year mortgages, they sell their houses every seven years. That's a national average. And people that buy rental property sell every four years, right? So uh, the banks are doing this knowing uh, that they're going to get all their fees up front most likely, right? So if you're one of those investors that's able to be patient, be patient and do your refinance down the road, be patient and hold on to the property long haul, you're going to make a killing with a quad because you're able to get the very most rent and the very best financing. That's why they're so banging, right? And that's why this property, despite being fucked up to like an all-time high level, uh, is an amazing deal, okay? You're going to have to work for it. You're going to have to put in some work, but don't worry, folks. That's where I'm at, right? You've been looking at the footage of the property. It looks disheveled, right? The grass isn't cut. What we have here is an out-of-state investor who doesn't even have a PM. Uh, This is a mom and pop, small time landlord out of state, got into this market, a couple other markets in Ohio, uh, hired some like small unknown uh, property management companies and it did not work out. Tenants were put in, tenants were not properly screened. He eventually fired them and this property is sitting here for you completely essentially abandoned. There's no property manager. There's nobody local handling this. He's hired Holton Wise to sell it to y'all, but we are uh, not managing this. He just wants it gone. Hence the amazing price. Hence what you see, right? So we sent our team in there to take a look at it. Now, the last time he got an update uh, from his quote-unquote property manager, who's no longer his property manager, uh, there was supposed to be three vacant units and then one squatter, okay? When my guys went in there, we were able to get into two vacant units, right? So as of the time my guys filmed it, we had two vacant units. The seller believes the third unit is vacant as well, and there's a squatter. But that unit, my guys were not able to get in. The keys that were sent to us did not open that unit. So uh, when you guys go to buy this, 
I'm going to say there's a 50% chance you got one squatter and three vacant units, and a 50% chance you have two squatters and two vacant units. Not really 100% sure, but that's the name of the game, folks. I have made millions of dollars buying beat to holy hell houses like this, right? It's all fucked up, y'all. But you can get it at 120000 not 250000 You ain't getting a $250,000 property unless it's got some serious issues, unless the seller is in pain, right? When sellers are in pain, that's how investors like us make money. And this dude is in pain, right? He's like got nobody working for him. He's not even trying to hire other property managers. He's not trying to hire Holton Wise to manage it. He's just like, dude. Get this thing away from me. I tried. I failed. I'm out, motherfucker. Folks, that's amazing. When he is this disenfranchised with this property, that's how you get the ability to pick this son bitch up at 119900 From there, we're going to have to take the two vacant units. We're going to have to, of course, renovate them. We're probably going to put about 20 k into each of those units, right? And then we're going to have to evict between one and two squatters. A little bit unsure uh, at the moment, uh, but you're going to evict between one and two squatters, right? So you're probably, all told, going to spend, if I had to guess, I'd say about 80 Eighty to ninety thousand dollars. Okay, you're probably going to drop eighty to ninety thousand dollars into this building. You buy it at one twenty. You drop. Let's just call it ninety, right? Easier. Let's call it ninety. You buy it at one twenty. You put ninety into it. You're all in for two ten. My opinion. You got yourself a fully turnkey. Four-unit apartment building, bringing in three thousand three hundred seventy-five dollars a month. Section eight ready, lead certified ready. That should be worth about 250. Do the math, y'all. Tyler, 250 minus 210. $40,000, y'all. That's why when I tell you I have made millions of dollars buying beat to hell properties, that's how it looks. This is what guys like me do. This is why guys like me make all the money. Because we go on and we tackle projects like this that seem tough, seem rough, seem ugly, seem. Like, you know, just something a lot of people don't want to deal with. The people that are willing to deal with all that, you get the big paychecks, y'all. That's how you get a $250,000 property for two hundred ten. okay? And guess what? By the time you get rid of the squatters between one and two of them, by the time you put it all together, fix the units, get Section 8 inspections done, get lead certifications all squared away. And by the way, Holton Wise will do all of it for you, okay? And if you're wondering how the lead certification process goes uh, after this video, check out the video below. I've linked to the lead certification process. I've also linked to our facts so you can see how much Holton Wise is going to charge you to do all this work for you and handle all your property management so you don't end up like this guy who's pretty much like, you know, he's on a raft, in the ocean, right, all by himself, right? He's not at the bottom of the ocean like Ocean Gate. He's, he's still hanging on. He didn't implode under the water, but honestly, that was a quicker and easier death than just, like, sitting in the raft all by yourself without any food or water for, like, a week and slowly dying, you know what I'm saying? So you don't want to end up in that raft, okay? You want to have a sophisticated property management company like Holton Wise that's able to actually do all these jobs for you. And if you look uh, in our fact, you can see everything will charge exactly how our process will work. And we will be able to put this thing together for you, right? So you, 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 you buy an asset like this, it's very, very difficult. But if you put the right team in place, the right boots in the ground in place, you can get it all put together, right the ship, and be heavily rewarded because again i believe it should be really at that point worth 250k making forty thousand dollars of equity for you and then then only then do you go ahead and do that cash out refinance which should in my opinion put us right in the heart of all the election stuff all the People going at it. You got Trump and DeSantos and Joe. They're all just going at it. Maybe Kennedy's coming in there, busting out those incline presses. Either way, man, Kennedy's chest. Look at that guy go. If I had to see a Democrat win, I would hope it'd be him over Joe. I mean, I don't really want to see a Democrat win, but I'm, I'm getting a little, getting a little off base here. 
Uh, we do need to understand, though, that politics does play a heavy role uh, in our investment business. And as investors, uh, it's usually better for us when the Republicans win. Uh, as landlords, investors, right, like the Republicans typically make our lives easier in terms of the housing policies they put in place. Uh, so just that little tidbit. We don't need to continue down the politics role, uh, politics rabbit hole here. But what I'm saying is win, lose, or draw, whichever one of those four is eventually going to become the president – shouldn't affect the fact that by the mere fact that all of that is going to be happening in 2024, I believe all of that is going to lead to lower rates, which makes it perfect for you then to do your refinance, hopefully at a much lower rate than you could get a loan on it today, thus making this quad one bang and burr despite how screwed up it is. If you are down to get involved with this project, whether you want Holton Wise to do the whole renovation, all the management, be your life raft, so to speak, or you want to just do it all on your own and you think you have the skill set and experience to handle it, that's fine with us. Either way, we're a la carte services here. You can use our services uh, to do everything, make it a turnkey experience for you, or you can just buy it and tell us to fuck off. Whatever you want to do, totally up to you. Either way, you'll send your offers to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. Cash offers only because it's so fucked up. Cash offers only, sales at holdenwise.com. Just send me an email. Yo, I want to buy 3529 West 54th. I want to pay 120 cash. Here's my proof of funds, okay? Don't tell me you want to pay cash and send me a fucking hard money loan pre-approval. At that point, I will know you're a fucking asshole who's got no idea what they're doing, and I won't believe you'll have any ability to close the sale, so we will probably ignore you for being stupid. We only want to deal with people who are actually going to get us to the finish line. Now, if... Uh, you want to take my word for uh, how much it's going to cost uh, to put it together. That is kind of an open-ended estimate. That's fine with me. Uh, but if you want to do more due diligence and get in there physically yourself, bring in another contractor p potentially uh, to get in there with you to tour the two, possibly three vacant units, uh, that's totally fine with us. We are all about transparency, as you can tell. I, I don't think anybody has ever uh, sold a building like this in, in this transparency of a way possible, right? Most most realtors out there, again, they would try to tell you that, oh, it's got classic woodwork. It's a century home, blah, blah, blah. Like I'm like, bro, it's fucking dog shit, right? So which one of us is being more transparent? I want you to know uh, that, yeah, it, it's dog shit right now, but dog shit makes a lot of money. Dog shit has made me rich. So our whole goal here, though, at the, at the end of the day, it's transparency and education. So if you guys want to get in there to do your own due diligence, that's totally fine. Shoot us an email, sales at uh, We will give you as much access as we have. There is one, possibly two squatters. At no point will we be able to get you into those units. If you can convince the squatters to let you in, hey, good for you. Uh, but, you know, I don't know how much work you want to do with squatters trying to get into their living space that they are stealing. I mean, that is probably a great way to get shot. So I don't know how hard you want to do that. I take no responsibility for any poor decisions you make when you're actually there. Uh, this is a dangerous business, folks. And if you don't believe me, take a look at the Tennis from Hell show. We have done many episodes on landlord tennis disputes that have ended in violence and or murder, right? So you got to, to use proper precautions but at least two of the units we know those uh from the last time we were there are accessible and there is no one squatting in them at this time so i would probably only look at those units that's as far as my team went we saw the other two units were going to be a problem going to be a heightened level of danger so we backed away because it's like you know, we're trying not to get shot in the fucking face. Uh, I'll leave that up to you, though, how you'd like to do your business, right? There's risk reward to everything, okay? So you can get in uh, to whatever's accessible, but, like, if the squatters are keeping you out of the other units, you can't call Holton Wise and have us do anything. We are not currently employed by the seller. Uh, he's not paying us to remove them, so we're not going to remove them, and he's not going to hire anybody else to remove them, hence the price. He's just like, dude, I don't want to deal with it all. Cut the price down. Let's put a lot of meat on the bones so the new buyer is handsomely rewarded for getting this problem property the fuck out of my life, and that's what we're doing. Sales at HoldenWise.com. You want to tour it? Cool. Great. Let us know. We'll get you in there. You want to buy it? Cool. Great. Cash offers, proof of funds, no hard money loans. Let's go. Okay. Do you want the light? Yeah. 
No, I got it. I'm so used to doing this at this point. All right. I mean, it was fucking unlocked, just like they said. Yeah. Just like I thought, it's fucking stairwell. So, that probably leads in, that's probably unit four right there. That's probably unlocked. Well, this is open. <laughs> this is open. I got this one open. No. Oh, no kidding. I'm betting that one goes down into the basement. I, I like how that guy asks a question like he... Yeah, like, what's your fucking business? They keep walking. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> He's living his life, dude. Uh, do you feel safer outside or inside? Because this definitely goes to that same unit. Oh, the one at the top. Yeah, no, I think there's two up, two down. That's probably, this is up front. Probably comes back and goes right up into here, and that one's up here, I would guess. All right, well. I don't know for sure. Is that door open? Hello? Hold no eyes, anybody home? Hold no eyes, anybody here? Surprise, surprise, it's holding wise. Sent by the owner to film this film this place. So you're responding to somebody. I thought he was too, but uh, it was the smoke alarm, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I heard that and I'm like, what's gotta be Just another day. Maybe nobody's been up through here for a while. There's a spider web right at the top of the thing. I don't here. know what I'm thinking. Hello? We're here to film. No wonder we go through so many of these batteries. I'm <laughs> fucking always on. Oh, why? Is anybody here? There's a rotten pumpkin. So what you're saying so is... nobody's been here since Halloween. Dude, uh, we, we already broke this. It's a good thing we got another one back at the office. Yeah, that one, it's in my car, right. actually. Following you up. Hey, home wise, here. anybody here? Hello, hello. We're okay, walking through. Sent by the owner of film. There's weeds everywhere. See that? Hello, anybody in the front room here? Nope. Smells awfully good in here though. Yeah, you got electric panels right here. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything though. The other door's locked. The other door and the basement are all locked. What about that front part of the floor one? We could try going to that one. That's the last door we have to check. Yeah, I mean, it's just as open as that. You know, if you act quick enough and you bought this place and actually put some locks on it. And then a lot of more money in it. Yeah. Well, this unit doesn't need too much. It needs to be fucking burned. Hey, look, free TV, though. I'd repaint the floor. No, it's still covered, too, bro. It's under warranty? Yeah. I'm going to come back to that. Damn it, dude. Well, I see these slaughters are coming back. Just freaking milds over here in the corner. <laughs> Let me see if I can get down on them. Yep. You gotta... Yo, I've never seen that style of black and milds filtered. You know what he was that dude was asking probably? Mm. He probably oh, it is, okay. Cause he and his boy probably come here and get high and hang out. Like, like, hey man, someone's trying to crash your pad. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.